Today is the day I'm reseeding my uh, magnetic chuck. And uh, I've been doing some transfers between the bottom of the mag. This is the bottom of the mag, uh, mag chuck. And uh, just been using a 600 grit uh, diamond block uh, to, to hone it down and to get uh, good contact. I was When I first started, I was getting some really lousy transfer. And what you do first is you uh, spray a light coat of dicum on the table itself. And uh, back here in the back, it was I wasn't I wasn't getting any contact back here at all, and now I've got it to where I'm up all the way across here, and I had a lot of corrosion on that center beam <clears throat> there, and out in front here, you can probably see some of the remainders of the corrosion there, and after a lot of scraping and uh, polishing and honing, uh, I've got a good contact. Now what I've what I'm going to do after this. Um, after get all this cleaned up and finish my polishing, I'm going to give it a light coat of uh, cold galv uh, on the table and on the bottom of the mag to keep it from, hopefully keep it from rusting again. And I think I'm going to just spray it lightly and then put it together wet and let them, let them kind of fuse. Um, but uh, that's our project. So uh, after we get it bolted down, I'm sure it's going to be a, a whole new ball game. All right, stand by for some more. And here we're uh, squaring the vise, or the chuck in there. I got my YouTube uh, dial indicator. Huh. Uh, the guys around the shop already know uh, that, that, that Mitsutoyo has already been referred to as the YouTube dial indicator. But uh, and that's a tenths indicator. I'll read out on a tenth of a thou. And from one end, I'm going to come up in the center. And she's going to drop in the center, and then it's going to come right back up towards the end. So I'm within, that's five, six, I'm at seven tenths across the board, and then my low spot, and it snaps back up. So it's uh, banana shaped right now by about a half a thou, or seven tenths. So I'm going to, uh, and that's, that's just reading off the back fence, and all we're doing is checking squareness of the vise. So... Uh, after I grind the table, uh, I'm going to remove the fence, grind the table, put the fence back on, then I'll square up the fence last. But uh, uh, tables first and foremost, but I was just using this as a point of reference to get the mag on the uh, axis of the machine uh, square. All right, so uh, I'll bring you back for uh, table readings. Okay, so I reseated the, the mag. I had the back fence on. And I uh, ran it side to side and got the mag squared with the table. And now that we've, we're all reseated and bolted back down, everything's stoned down, I've got a clean surface to mount on, uh, I'm going to get some readings on the top. And I'm sure it's going to be a whole new ball game now because everything was, because of all the corrosion and the stoning and everything that I did to uh, uh, get that magnet to sit flat. And what I did uh, during stoning I would dust it with uh, dicum uh, in the spray can. That's this material right here, dicum steel blue. So I can get that across the camera. There you go. Um, that and just put a light layer of it on there, and then uh, drop the mag on and try to get a transfer. And I did have some uh, low spots and some non-contact areas, so I kept uh, going with the stoning and the the contact areas were uh, pretty consistent with the corroded areas and the non-contact areas were pretty consistent with the clean areas so I kept working on the corrosion until I had contact all the way around where the where the vice is actually bearing down everywhere anyways let's get some preliminary measurements on here I'm gonna start in this back corner and we're just gonna do zero and I'll, I'm just gonna express everything in thousands of an inch I'm gonna take readings um, let's see, a quarter, half, three quarter, full, and like I said, we're starting at zero here. So we're going to come about here, and we're going to call that one uh, plus, oh my gosh, I've already bumped my, already bumped it. Let's get back on zero here. Let's hit, And let's keep from hitting this guy here. What do you think? All right, uh... Yeah, we're calling that we're calling that zero. 
and we're going to go a quarter and that's positive one two three so we're going to we're going to say 0 0.3 and we're expressing that in thousandths and we're going to go halfway and we're going to call that uh, plus 0.9 we're going to come here and we're going to go plus 1.1 we're going to come over here and, wow, she really takes a banana there. Look at that. Uh, 1.8. That's plus 1.8. All right, and then now we're going to split the table. One, that's half, quarter, three quarter, and full. So we're going to run across this way too and kind of get a grid going here. So we're going to come right about here. And we're still... Uh, about 1.8, so that's plus 1.8, and then we're going to come across to here, uh, that's plus 1, and we're going to come here, and here we're plus 0.6, Point five, and here that's uh, one, two, that's point three. All right, let's move into our halfway point. I'm going to call that a plus point four. Uh, that's a zero. And that's a zero. That's a plus point five. Wow, this is a whole new ball game, isn't it? And at the end of our there's our one point we're gonna call that one point five. One point five. I'm trying to do the camera work and all this at the same and write down and everything all at the same time. And as I move the table in, I'm going to check you guys, make sure you can still see. Let me back you up just a tad. Back you up about there. All right. Um, all right. Three quarters down. We're 1.2. It's plus 1.2. It's actually nice. It gives me more room to get in there and write. Uh, that's a point one, plus point one. Whoa, there's a big minus. Look at that. Does that repeat? Yeah, it sure does. Look at that. That's a minus five, six, point seven. Wow, that's a biggie there. Big hole in that thing. There's a minus. Point six. Uh, here we're coming back up again. Uh, that's a zero. All right, let's go to the full depth of our table here. All the way out, pretty much all the way out at the end here. I got a good range of motion there. Yeah. Okay, that's a uh, minus point four. Minus 0.8. That's our biggest one so far. Wow, there's a big one. There's a minus 1.1. There is a minus 0.4. Holy spicoli, look at that. That is a plus 0.8. And now we're going to go all the way back to our zero. And this is going to uh, kind of quantify our measurement here. Make sure we, we snap back to zero or thereabouts. Make sure we don't have to do this all over again. Break out the acetone. we got to start over. 
and there we are back at zero back at our at our beginning spot so we can see our plus 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 we got all our pluses here uh, we got a couple of zeros plus this was a plus and then we had some minuses up in this uh, area here so we've got some work ahead of us and here we are after uh, oh, one pass and you can see where my pen marks are going away and you can see the brake line there in the grinding and I try to get a light at a, at a good spot where you can see the uh, where it's hitting and where it's not but all those high numbers we had up here in this corner and down this side are going away I haven't gotten to my plus point nines yet and I uh, my highest number now is uh, uh, plus point nine it's a minus is a point four so this this guy will be the next to go point five point eight uh, it's kind of following suit uh, with my numbers so the next pass is probably going to be kind of in this zone here that's where the where it's going to feather off and all this will be kind of done over here so uh, yeah let me let me let me come down a uh, two or three ten I'm just doing a couple of tenths at a time uh, taking my time and trying not to uh, degrade my wheel too much uh, see if I can keep this thing flat so uh, let me uh, let me grind a little more and I'll bring you back and here we're back and we've got quite a quite a pattern developing I've gotten rid of all the uh, of all the pluses and all the uh, zeros so all this left are minuses and if I were to draw right there is my feather line right there so you can see the how far we're going but you know I'm still uh, this is my big number here minus 1.1 so I still got at least uh, a thou to go or just a shade over a thou to get it cleaned up but we got her worried uh, I'm dressing often I am dressing after each pass uh, I had one pass that I scalloped really badly and the wheel loaded up I think that the cast iron and the dissimilar metals in the magnet really load the wheel easily and uh, grinding cast iron is not great anyways that really loads the wheel but uh, all we got left is uh, our, our tallest number now is a .4, but we're getting real close to taking that off. And all we've got is kind of a groove here in the middle. And then, you know, after we get a clean surface, we'll measure it and see where we're at and then uh, map it out one last time. All right? Okay, now we're getting down to the meat of it. All that dust off of there. And all that's left is my minus 1.1, .1, and you can see the feather edge right here. And everything else is uh, getting ground. Um, I think I'm going to stay stick with the ruby wheel until this is gone. And uh, that's an 80 grit ruby. And then I'm going to switch over to a white wheel, which is also known as a butter wheel. They load quickly, but they leave a really nice finish. So I'm going to... Uh, work this out with the ruby, uh, fire it up, dress it, uh, and run it, give it another pass. When I say a pass, that's one way this way and one way back this way, uh, coming down two and a half tenths each way. So between there and coming back, it's a half a thou. So, uh, yeah, between, we just erased a minus point. I think that one was a point seven in the minus. So we just barely got rid of that. So we still got another four, four or five tenths to go. So we'll uh, we'll dress one more time and bring her back around. I made on my last pass with the uh, with the ruby wheel. I'm hoping you guys can see that finish, and you can still see my holiday. And uh, that is right there. You can still see the spot is just skimming and it's just floating across that. It was actually just just dusting the very uh, high spots. And when I say dusting, all you can see is a slight variation in the surface as the wheel passed by. So I don't think that's even a tenth, that little area. But we're going to measure it and find out. Uh, I got my glary thing going there. That's not working. I put a light right on it and I thought it would focus better. Yeah, but that focuses better, doesn't it? 
Yeah, just that amount of light right there, it kills it. Alright, I'm going to put this away. I'm going to mount the camera on a mag base. And uh, let's draw another map. Let's, let's write on the table some more. Okay, so here's the numbers on our whole table. And you can kind of see the, the general map. We don't have any minus numbers at all. Uh, zero was our baseline, so we had a zero, a zero. And our next zero was way out here in front. And we were a, we were a plus point one here. And it jumps really from front to back. It uh, jumps from one to three. Three. And it goes to two. Kind of stays at two here. So there's a slight hump, and then if we look at our side to sides, uh, this 0 0.3, 0 0.2, 3, 2, 3. Our side to sides are pretty good. It's the front to back that's not wonderful. Uh, I am going to switch out to um, a butter wheel, which is... Uh, Let's see, this is a uh, 120 grit. Yeah, this is a, this is a 120. Uh, a very soft wheel. This wheel degrades very quickly when you're using it, and it loads <clears throat> very quickly. But the surface finish is nice, and you can skim off a tenth or whatever with it. it it's not a, it's not coarse at all where, where the stray... Uh, piece of uh, abrasive comes down and starts plowing material so you can and it, it's very cool running it runs it runs very cool a lot cooler than the ruby wheel so I'm going to switch out the wheels get them dressed up and see if I can uh, improve on uh, my table a little bit I'm not expecting a lot all right so uh, let me get ground and uh, we're going to measure it one last time okay here we are on a final and I just couldn't get through it with that white wheel and you can actually see some of my, uh, uh, it was picking up material and it, the wheel would clog and then it would come down and start chattering uh, when the, you know, when cast iron hits cast iron, it's uh, not very friendly. So it, it, and you can still see where I didn't get all of it out. There's a couple little marks here and a couple over here in the corner. Uh, but I went back to the 80 grit ruby and taking really light cuts my last one was about a tenth of a thou uh, flooded with coolant and uh, that's just coolant wiped off with a rag no hand polishing no nothing that's that's the final finish there so you can probably see a, uh, a few reflections all right let me get the mag set up and we're going to measure it the way it sat here and uh, I, I just kept uh, kept doing like a, almost like a spring pass across the center uh, just till it sparked out. And with the coolant going, you can hardly see any sparks at all. You can barely hear it coming by, and it just kind of makes a shh, shh, shh noise as it as it passes by and is removing material. And you can see the coolant getting black as uh, it's washing it away. Yeah, there you can see my fingerprints getting on it. All right, let me set up the mag, and uh, we'll take a final measure and see if there's any handwork that needs to be done. Okay, I'm back on the table, and uh, I was just getting zeroed up here on with my uh, spindle. Let me make sure I stay zeroed here. Make sure all the backlash is out of everything where we don't... Get a funky reading in the middle of all this. Let's move around a little bit here. Yeah, I think that's a good zero. All right, we're going to start off. We're in a center rear right now. We're going to sweep all the way left. And I'm about a tenth below. And I'm just going to sweep it slowly. And there's uh, coming up on zero. Yeah, it pretty much stays on zero from there to there. All right, now we're going to go back to the center. We're going to run, uh, run in a little bit. And we're just a shade above zero. And we're going to go right. And there's a one-tenth below. And passing through zero on our, on our way to the center. And 
there's about a tenth below again on the left. All right, so go back to the middle. And we're going to run out. This is pretty much center by center right here. On zero. To the right. About a tenth below. Passing through the, the center, which is on a zero. And now we're back to our tenth below. All right, so that's uh, that's the center axis, and we're gonna go. We're gonna go about three quarters of the table. And here we're starting off about a tenth below. We're gonna run it over to uh, the side over here, and about the same, about tenth below. And passing across the center and over to the left and we're a tenth below and let's take it out to the extreme front and our starting point in the center oh it's uh it's just a shade over a tenth okay and then we're gonna go yeah it's about yeah, it's just a shade over a tenth. All right, now we're going to run all the way out to the side over here. And same thing, just a little, just a tad over a tenth. And now we're going to run over to the left and right at a tenth uh, under. So um, I'd say this, this mag chuck right now, the way it sits, is... Uh, Plus or minus a tenth. I mean, the worst one we saw was about one and a half increments, which is, uh, God, it's so minuscule, it's not even funny. But I'm calling this good. I'm not going to do any handwork on it. Uh, those little scallops that were over there, I'm just going to live with those. Okay, but uh, this mag has been reseeded, and we've got a fresh start on the, on the top. Uh, the only thing I got left to do is put the rear uh, fence on. And grind it straight and then this mag's been set and done and we'll check it again in about another week or so and see how it holds all right thanks for watching guys